We're inside the Troop D garage here in Concord. Investigators say the trooper was buckled in right here when his cruiser was struck from behind by a passing tractor trailer, launching the cruiser some 300 feet. It appears as though the uh, box of the trailer or the uh, rear bumper had come up across the uh, cruiser and actually gone uh, right across from the rear of it, across the rear door and the driver's door at uh, head height. This is I-89 in Warner, where a trooper was pulled over, helping a driver who had slid off the road during last night's snowstorm. Police say flares were out, the blue lights were on. It's, it's getting old. It really is. And, uh, you know, we have troopers that have been struck multiple times in the course of their career in a single year. This terrifying close call hits really close to home for Sergeant Taylor. It happened to him a year ago this month. Uh, I was working that same stretch at a motor vehicle crash uh, about a mile south of Vincent uh, when I was uh, struck inside the cruiser. In 2015, 21 police cruisers were struck on New Hampshire highways as they were stopped to aid other drivers. In this case, authorities say the hit and run driver was in a dark colored cab with a sleeper compartment hauling a white trailer. The truck had Canada license tags, according to witnesses. The driver stopped briefly, even spoke with a witness. He's described as a short middle aged man with dark hair who had a foreign accent. The, uh, the trooper immediately radioed that he was uh, in fact struck, that he didn't believe that he was initially injured at that point. He then climbed out of the shattered driver's side window to see if any bystanders were injured. He's been on the job less than a year. We want the same goal as everybody else. We want to be able to get home safe every night. We want our troopers to get home safe. We want the traveling public to get home safe. That's the goal. We're told miraculously the trooper is sore but expected to be just fine. In fact, his colleagues tell us that he was insisting that he come in tonight to work his night shift. In Concord, Amy Cavino, WMUR News 9.